You can tell it's summer by the sweat smell of the sweat. The s <laughs> Hey guys, this fruit smells like sweat and the sweet smell of nectar wafting through the air. Yeah, that sounds like a fart. Hey, how's it going everybody? Aramis here and welcome to episode 12 here on the Romani farm. This is the episode the build-up has been leading to. We will be entering the first of summer this episode and there is a huge amount of work needed for it. A quick side note here, cheers to everyone who has joined me for this entire spring season. I appreciate everyone's support immensely. I wonder what the first day of summer is going to be like. It's going to be clear and sunny all day, which suits us well enough, I think. And the luck today is going to be good luck. Excellent. And the queen of sauce as well is she's teaching us an omelette. So finally, we're getting a new recipe here. All right, the final day here, guys. It's just going to be cleaning up this mess for the final time. Mining, I definitely need to go mining. We need to get as much of those gold bars for the um, quality sprinklers. And maybe just a little bit of tidying up down south at the new uh, crop field place. Oh, it looks like Benjamin is sleeping over there. He's enjoying the last day of spring, the sunshine. Excellent. I'm just going to be selling this entire lot. And flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal. You will feel energized. See you soon. That's probably because I gave her that topaz yesterday. Excellent. And we'll sell all these ones. Wonderful. Hello, Benjamin. How are we going? Oh, he didn't show me his heart. All right, I'm going to grab one of these chests here and I'm going to place it down south here because we do need to be prepared up for um, you know these summer crops tomorrow now unfortunately for me I always usually have all my chests right in front of my house and everything but because all our spring crops are down there I'd rather have my main chests down right where the crop fields are otherwise I'll be doing back and forth running the entire time and that's just gonna be incredibly painful all right, we'll quickly chop up these other couple of trees that have popped up here. We do need to go see Dolores and see if she has anything special for us. I have a funny feeling that she probably do doesn't, but it is what it is. Okay, cool. Excellent. So let's just place this chest eh, there. <laughs> it really doesn't matter where I place that chest. It's going to be used just for storing stuff eventually. And then I will move it in the future. There's a couple of dandelions here as well, which we'll pick up because it'll be the last time we get an opportunity to pick up any of the spring forageables. But we've had a massive amount of uh, forageables anyway with the, you know, those other 30 seeds, so we're absolutely fine. Okay, she is selling quality sprinklers. Now that is something. Is that 2250 per one? It probably is, which is kind of expensive. We're about to be making a whole bunch ourselves anyway. Uh, nothing special. Okay, I would usually go for a massive foraging just for the final day of the season. But because we're on a tight schedule, I'm going to neglect that. And I'm going to head up and get started with the mining, I reckon. Uh, those strawberries have done me very well this season, I reckon. Excellent. We'll quickly check our mushroom cave. And there is a couple of mushrooms here as well. Fantastic. Pop these in here. Keep those common mushrooms on us. And here we have our first wormy worms for the day. And it is a rusty spoon. I think we already, yeah, we've already found this one. Oh well, better luck next time. Hello, Linus. You can have yourself a salmon berry, mate. This is a great gift. Thank you. I don't like to stay in one place for too long. There's just too much experience in the world. He's finally changed his dialogue. He doesn't say that thing like he doesn't want to see new people. Because that just rustles my jimmies. Excellent. Three gold bars there. Now gold usually takes about 8 hours to do, so what I need to do is keep my eye on the time and every single time it's time to come back, I need to pop my head back in and just get a couple more done. But we're off to a good start, there is a aquamarine and some of these uh, quartz and instantly going down. Can't say much about that. There we go, and we got this one here. What I like about these levels is you just run straight down and you will find the exit. So it's very straightforward. Back off, brute. <laughs> Excellent. A whole bunch of extra coal, which is fantastic. And, hmm. oh, there's our staircase immediately, which is absolutely baller. Uh, nope, I don't want anything to do with you, mate. Ooh. This weapon doesn't really knock them back all that much, which is unfortunate. Alright, we got ourselves some more gold here, and we have a, a thingy guy down there, I forget what they're called, these squid kids or something. 
These guys only have one health, so they're not very difficult to kill. Alright, level 95 here. I can't see anything immediately, so let's quickly dart back up. These ones are still going to be busy for a while. We'll put all these away as well, except my bombs. I need those. So yeah, we might only be able to get maybe 6 golden bars. We'll have plenty of ores for it, but not the bars themselves. But that's okay, we'll just have to come back again the next day. Oops, can't get me, mate. There we are, next level down. And we do have quite a bit of gold here, which is a good start. Alright, no more gold that I can see, so I'm just going to see if I can find the staircase. Hopefully without having to kill these guys. Who am I kidding? I'm going to have to kill these guys. Hey, we got it. Excellent. Oh, that is a good amount of gold right here. Whew, that is a good amount of gold. Still haven't seen a fire quartz, which is a little bit unfortunate. Oops, you can't get me, mate. Got him. I have a funny feeling that I should probably head back mm, now, or close to now, because I think that stuff might be ready. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get a whole bunch of sprinklers right off the bat, so it seems. I was hoping I would be able to, but that's probably not going to be the case. Excellent, I was hoping that one would have the staircase. Oh crap. This could be bad. Let's hope the staircase pops up very shortly. Getting swarmed by bats is the worst. Come on buddy, thank you. Excellent. Cool, and we have a whole bunch of these other guys and we got some free coal here as well. I, ooh, this is going to be bad. Mm. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, gave me the staircase. Um, Got to eat some stuff. I'm about to die. Whew. Save myself there, ladies and gentlemen. Quickly grab these ones here as well. And I'm just going to dodge that guy. Here we go. Hmm. I'm wondering. I don't want to waste too much time trying to get through this level. I'd rather dart up. Ah, oh, here we go. Excellent. Huh, I called it. Now, in this chest, ladies and gentlemen is the star drop so I'm actually going to leave that one for the time being and probably pick it up another time all right so let's see if we can get a little bit more golden ore before we head home generally what how long does it take everyone to get down to the golden uh, part of the level or just complete the mines in general I usually get it done somewhere in the first summer so our goal is to have 18 of the sprinklers correct and we already have six of them, I think seven, because we might have one back home. We have seven of them on us currently. So seven of the 18 crop spots that we're going to have tomorrow is already going to be sprinkled up, which is going to be really good. Guys, I'm really excited to get into summer. It's going to be a good summer. And I finally get to use sprinklers. Like, I've been neglecting to use sprinklers until I have that space all cleared up. But I think in general, most people can't do anything with sprinklers until they actually get that space cleared. And to get it cleared up properly, you need to have a steel axe. I'm actually very used to the galaxy sword or something, so I, I keep misjudging those people's... Oh, wow! Okay, yeah, no, we're getting all that there. And there's also fire courts. Okay, this is going to be a... a oh my god, this is going to be bad for us. Okay, that was really bad. Um, let's eat this here as well. We're definitely going to use a bomb. And there's this guy here as well, actually. Did I get anything from him? But he was a, a thingy guy. That's just unfortunate. Okay, cool. Pop that there. We'll quickly eat this one because I don't want to die. Excellent, look at that. And I'm just going to leave all those crates. Actually, no. E yeah, I'm going to leave all those crates. It's getting too late. Oh. But we did make it down to level 105, so that's a good sign. <laughs> wow. Okay. Whew. Now I can take a slow breather here and determine what I need to take home with me. Okay, I think I more or less have everything that I want currently. We will be coming back tomorrow again after the fact. Yeah, awesome. So let's head back home. We have to make sure to do our usual thing here. Oi, Linus! Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's never going to sleep, that man. 
Alright, now tomorrow is going to be a huge day. It's going to be the first of summer and it's going to be all about setting up the uh, crop field down south. And while we're here, I'm actually going to make seven of these quality sprinklers while we're here. Excellent. Look at that. That's already seven sprinklers. All right, excellent. I'm just going to jump into bed and let's see if we leveled it all during the night or during the daytime. Uh, yes, we did level up our mining, so that's a good one. And we actually got the fighting one as well. Huh. Now, this is a good question. Which one do I go for? I'm actually going to go for all attacks deal 10% more damage. Now, I think the common um, mistake with scout is the critical strike chance is increased by 50%. But that doesn't mean you have a 50% critical strike chance. No, that means if you already have a, uh, let's say, 2% critical strike chance, you will now have a 3% critical strike chance. So it's not actually as that huge as people believe it would be. And that was the final money we were going to make for spring. 3135 Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally in the first day of summer. Oh, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's check what the weather is for tomorrow. Rightio, the weather for tomorrow is also going to be sunny. You know what? I, I'm going to call it right now. I think we're going to have a very dry summer. I'm calling that right now here on episode one. Let's see if I'm correct. The fortune for today is bad luck, but that's okay. We're just going to be um, planting and doing all that sort of stuff. And living off the land. Summer's here, along with a whole slew of new crops to plant. Take hops, for example. The, the vines take a whole while to grow, but once they mature, they can be harvested every single day. Good luck. Alright guys, so let's get out there and make this first day happen. So, yeah guys, today everything is about the crop field and setting up the crop field properly in terms of you know things that we require for the community center as well so it's gonna be a very busy one i reckon just wanted to make some extra bait here because this has been annoying me since you know before because we're running out of bait excellent all right then so what we also need to do is hack up these ones because we're going to be needing them in the other spot other benjamin are you going to help me buddy no you're not helping me by running away come here there we go i just remembered I'm going to need a little bit more, hmm, I wonder if I've got coal here. I do not have any coal here, unfortunately. Okay, I'm going to hope, okay, I'm going to hope that some of these rocks have a couple of pieces of coal on them. So let's quickly hack these up, because we have some time before Pierre actually opens. The one time I really need some coal, there we go, there's one. Come on, one of these rocks needs to have a piece of coal. There we go, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now we were able to make two more of these ones. There we go. Now we can finally start with the placement of our things here. Let's just clear up this land a little bit more. We have all the way up until 5 o'clock to get this done and dusted. So, hmm, let's see what we can do, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, there's the first lot ready to go. What's also nice is this is going to give me a lot of clay as well. I made sure to also have the other stuff on us. Actually, wait a minute, what am I doing? The next lot, I want to make sure are more on this side. There we go, that's exactly where I want it. I would also like to see if I can find all the forageables today because I will be planting those as well. Like that's gonna take up 30 spots with that spring bundle that you can get. Oh, this is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this. Let's eat ourselves a couple of salmon berries because we are getting very tired. But at least almost half of the crop field is already be, being watered by um, something that we don't have to worry about. And these guys are going to be placed here on these four points. So this is automatically going to cover everything. Excellent. We need to make ourselves 114 of these. One more. Excellent. And let's see if we can start watering these as well. You know what? I think actually I'm going to make my way over and see if I can find any of the forageables. Yeah, let's quickly see if we can do that. Like the, the crop field's still going to be there. And we'll make our way over to Pierre and we can get that all done and dusted. Because we definitely need to find, we need to find these three. So hopefully we can find them along the way because I wouldn't mind getting those forageables into the ground today as well. 
it's going to be a tough one. There's nothing over here that I can see. And I don't want to waste too much time trying to hunt these down. If I can't find them today, then so be it. I'll just have to sort them out later. But I just realized we are running low on space. And I want to make sure that I have enough space in my backpack for the massive amount of seeds that I'm going to buy. So just to be sure, I'm going to put some stuff into the chest here. So yeah, this is doubling back a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. So I didn't want to do this kind of running back and forth. Cool, excellent. And I think we're going to make our way over to Pierre now. It's getting on for time. Ah, oh, this is feeling good. It's, it feels good to get a crop field, a proper crop field again. Man, there's no forageables. Like, nothing. This is atrocious. How will I survive without my my, my spring things? My, my forageables? This is a disaster. Alright, let's see what this notice board is. Ah, oh, it's actually the birthday. So, uh, does anyone have an extra grape? Ooh, I could probably do that for you, Marnie. Hello, Leah. Let's give you a salmonberry while you are here. And this is a really nice gift. Thank you. You can tell it's summer by the sweat smell of... The sweat. The <laughs> hey guys, this fruit smells like sweat. And uh, the sweet smell of nectar wafting through the air. Yeah, that sounds like a fart. A horrid fart. Um, I've got summer seeds available. You better stock up. And yes, I've actually done the numbers, ladies and gentlemen. So, we have 144 crop spots in total which is actually going to be 18 sprinklers. Um, I'm going to use one sprinkler, which is going to be eight for tomatoes. So let's grab eight of these ones and they are a multi-crop field. So that's just going to go on for a while. The hot peppers is going to be for another one. These are all for community centers as well, by the way. The blueberries is also for a community center, but this is going to be the main source of income for us. And I'm going to go with 66 of these ones because of the numbers I was able to um, jive out. We do have some melon seeds at home as well. And I'm going to get 39 of these ones. The reason for it is because we do have some at home. And I want to have 48 because I want to cover three of them. Three of these sprinklers for two occasions, if that makes sense. A poppy we do need a singular poppy for the community center so we're gonna grab two of these ones just to be sure and also two sunflower seeds there we are now I know sunflower seeds are cheaper over at the uh, Jojo Mart but that's that's you know across the field that's on the other side of the world I'm not running in that direction <laughs> um, wheat we do need a couple of pieces of wheat so we're actually gonna grab 12 of these ones just for the laughs and then the last 30 things that we have that's going to equate to 144 is going to be the forageable. So we're actually going to leave them for now. And let me just double check my figures here. Yeah, I think that's going to cover everything. Yes, that's going to cover everything. And I'm still going to just use... Ooh, nice. I definitely could use those cookies for today. Evelyn, you threw away some cookies and I found them. Thank you kindly. And there is Linus enjoying the sunshine. Lollipops and... Hmm. You know what I'm actually going to do, ladies and gentlemen? One, two, three. <laughs> yes, I'm doing this. Uh, we only want to do this. Grab these ones as well. I think these are the only ones we're going to need. I'm just going to set them up temporarily at home. So I don't have to run back and forth. Because I can set up another bunch of them tonight. And yeah, I'll be able to collect them you know, in the morning and do it again. So I reckon that's going to be awesome. Uh, there is no no forageables. The game has betrayed me. I don't see anything. Excellent. So one, two, three, and let's just do this. Awesome. Those ones are going to be ready tomorrow. Um, no, one, one, two, three, one, two, three. Excellent. That's another three there. And let's head down here and actually start sorting out this crop field. Ah, oh, this is good, ladies and gentlemen. So what we'll do is I'm just going to quickly water the entire place. So I'll be right back. I just realized that might be a waste of time there. I'll do these ones first. And the reason for that is because I don't have those spring forageables on me just yet. So if I don't have them on me, why would I water those spaces? So if I get to them, I'll water them. God damn, trying to sort through this stuff is insane. Okay, so these three here are going to be for the watermelons. Ooh, 
and I think there's going to be at least 24 left because I've bought enough for two rounds because these take 12 days to grow that should be good then and let's quickly water these as well it might be it might be best not to have those forageables tonight I think getting just through these seeds is going to be insane enough as it is don't water the same thing you knob okay the these ones will go here awesome and these two poppies can go there uh, the two sunflowers can go here and then this will cover this section here okay let's quickly water up this entire lot we're going to eat these um, trash cookies because they're going to be delicious now before I forget now this entire lot here is going to be for the blueberries it's going to be a close round ladies and gentlemen I kind of have to sit up on my chair to make sure that everything is actually done as I wanted it to be <laughs> I really really don't want to pass out please don't pass out I think I might be able to do this Ooh, cross your fingers for me cross your fingers for me cross your fingers for me even if I just get them into the ground that's good enough for me oh, what is this shenanigans okay come on come on come on, come on. Yes, these are going to be the last 10. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, so just place these ones all down. Yes! Okay, run home, run home, run home. <laughs> okay, we've just paused the game. Let's just put these here. Okay, take a breather. Sort this out. And let's quickly run home. If I can get my way through this bloody mess. My own neglect of my farm might be my downfall. Yes, actually... Can I get another couple of these? Where's my gold? There it is. Oh, my goodness gracious. Okay, let's quickly hop into bed right now. Wow. Wow. Okay. What a good day. Whew. Okay. Let me just quickly click on this television so time doesn't pass anymore. Whew. Okay. <laughs> that was tight, ladies and gentlemen. That was very tight. Alright, the weather for tomorrow is going to be another sunny day. I need to keep an eye on that because as soon as a storm comes rolling through, I need to make sure to place down some, uh, what do you call it, those lightning rods because I don't want my stuff to be destroyed by lightning. And the spirits feel neutral today, it is completely in your hands. Yes it is, it's going to be completely in my hands. Alright, on today's agenda is to continue with that farm plot. We want to make sure everything is good to go there. Make a couple more of these um, sprinklers and hopefully maybe even go and find those forageables because I wouldn't mind getting those other 30 uh, forageables into the ground as well. And let's grab these five now. Okay, so we're down to five now. So we start have we're gonna have to start making uh, the the fire the quartz as well. Okay, hello Benjamin, how you going there today, buddy? Just waddling through the mess that I'm just gonna leave there for the next couple of days. And let's see what this has in store for us ah look at that ladies and gentlemen that looks absolutely beautiful so we'll pop down this one there we go that one yeah, place it down please oh i'm standing on it no wonder i can't place it down cool and we'll place this one here as well so it covers those ones now we should quickly grab our watering can and still do this business that we have to because we couldn't find the other ones or we couldn't find things there we go bombs Someone sent me artillery, you know, <laughs> in the ocean. And everything got fertilized as well. So that's a really good start to the season, I think. Don't water the sprinkler, man. That's what the sprinkler's supposed to do. <laughs> now, speaking of which, actually, we only need three more sprinklers, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think we only need three extra sprinklers at the moment. So, uh, yeah, we're nearly there, actually. So... Yeah, today, let's actually go and have another wander around, because I definitely want to find those extra forageables. They can't be too far away. Like, really, I, I need to find that stuff. Because I want to get that other thing just covered with the, uh, the things. Alright, let's have a proper forage down south. Benjamin is enjoying the salt water there, because he's a salty dog. Man, this place is grow overgrowing like crazy. I need to make another silo. Unfortunately, it's Tuesday, and... Robin is not going to be there, but we do have this fiddlehead fern here. Uh, there's another one here, and they are for another bundle in the community center. I think it's the 
chef's bundle if I'm not mistaken. Man, what is this? I'm not finding anything. This is atrocious. This is a disaster. There we go. Here's a sweet pea. Oh, thank God. All right, so that's one. We need a grape and a sweet berry or something like that as well. Here we go. Here's that one. So the only thing we need now is the grape. Ah, it gave us two. Excellent. If only I found these, you know, yesterday. But I wouldn't have had time to plant them all. I would have definitely run out of time. So you know what? It's for the best. Let's actually go this way. The reason why I'm going in this direction is because I can get to the bus stop and everything quick going this way. And there's Elliot. Here is Leah. I'll give her another something in a second. There we are. This is a really nice gift. Thank you. The sound of farm animals is great, isn't it? I mean, you do have a whole bunch of farm animals just above where you live. So, yeah, you probably fall asleep to the sound of mooing cows. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if that sounds like a constipated cow. I have no idea. There's another sweet berry. If only one of these could be, be, you know, a grape or something. There is a chance, I think, for them to be up at the mountains as well. So, it's actually a good idea we're going through this way. We'll put this one here because it's for the community center. Maybe I should actually do a community center run. You know what? I might just do that, ladies and gentlemen. Give me a second here. I'm just going to sort some of this stuff out because this is going to be a lot of things that I need to worry about. Okay, I, I definitely have everything that we need for the boiler room. And we're going to head up in this direction. I hope to god I don't run into anything up there. Yeah, I do want the grapes. If we can find the grapes, fantastic. Come on, everyone cross your fingers for grapes. We need grapes. We're going to leave this berry for the time being because I don't want it to take up inventory space. Linus, my friend, you wouldn't have happened to steal all the grapes, would you? Linus, you've taken all the grapes, haven't you? Mate, you speak up, fess up. Have you come to... Yes, I'm ridiculing you right now. You've, you've taken all the bloody grapes, mate. I'm just minding my own business. I swear to God, here, have a salmon berry. This is a great gift, thank you. <laughs> ah, this wild man has eaten all the grapes, unfortunately. Yep, I don't think we're going to find any grapes today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh well, at least we get to empty up this thing a little bit more. Not that one. This is the one. Excellent. Well, we've got a whole bunch of melons and we've got some corn growing. Do we have corn? Do I have got corn growing? No. I do not have corn growing. I completely forgot about the corn. Well, that's a conundrum. <laughs> Can I make it down to What's-His-Face in time? I'm going to quickly run down to Pierre, and hopefully I can catch him just before he closes. Come on, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Pierre, I swear to God, if you close these doors just as I get in there... Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm. Oh my God. Okay. Is there anything else I missed? Nope, a, the corn is the final things that we forgot. Okay, and we're just going to do 8 of them as well. I said 8, but I've gone and bought 12 because I'm a nub. Okay, excellent. Now that that is uh, sorted... <laughs> oh man, I just had an absolute heart attack. I'm glad I decided to go for this uh, community center run. Because otherwise I would not have found that out. That would have just been atrocious. Anyways, speciality fish, we can pop this one in here. Pop my little face in here. We can give this one over here. We do have that, but we are yet to bring it over here. The fiddlehead fern, we can now place here as well. And there's that poppy, which will come in due time. The dye bundle, there's the sunflower, which we've already planted as well. And, oh, we've already done the red mushroom there. I'll figure out eventually. Anyways, let's quickly get this boiler room done and dusted, ladies and gentlemen. So, the blacksmith bundle, one and two. Excellent. There we go. And we get ourselves another furnace, which is a huge boost. The geologist bundle, which we can now get done as well. Yes! What's the reward? It's a five omni geodes. And the last one, the easiest one to do this is just a singular... Uh, Solar Essence and a Singular Void Essence. This is the best way to get this bundle done. Excellent. Here we go. And we have ourselves a small magnet ring. The first one. And there we have it. Getting the boiler room done. It has been achieved, ladies and gentlemen. It is done and dusted. 
Oh, we are the Junimos, keepers of the forest. <laughs> Done and dusted. I just... Yeah, I can't move. <laughs> okay, cool. I can move. Fuck, I thought I might, might have glitched the game there. There we go. Winter foraging. Yes, that is one there. And this one here. Thank you very much. There we go. Uh, yes, I, I can actually do one of these ones. Fantastic. That's done and dusted there. The morel can go there. That can go there. Ah, ca cave carriage. I keep forgetting about that. Cool. Excellent. And I think that is everything that we can do. Yep. Let's head on home. Benjamin is enjoying himself. And I think we can now actually make the final sprinklers. Yep. So let's just do that. Just Let's just get that over and done with. I don't want to worry about that anymore. Awesome. So let's go and quickly plant these, uh, what do you call them, corn seeds, and we'll go from there. I'm only going to do eight spots for the corn. I want to have at least enough spots over there for other things that I might need. So I've gone and wasted, you know, X amount of money here on four extra corn that I'm never going to use. But you know what? I'm fine with that. Okay, excellent. So now I don't have to worry about watering these at all anymore. Let's quickly pop this here and this one here. Okay, excellent. So that's the entire crop field done and dusted. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't that look fantastic? Oh, mighty proud. All right, let's take some of these things back to where they belong. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to just do a bit of mining and just clearing up of this space here because there's not much else we can do today. And of course, the Junimos are going to be fixing that boiler room overnight, which means we can have easy access over to Clint and the museum and also to the mines. Oh, that's good. That saves a lot of time. I wouldn't mind getting a glow ring at some point. That would be really nice. But I reckon it would be pretty nice to see if we can get a coop running soon as well. But first things first, I reckon I'll probably make another silo first. Just because I'd rather have another silo for all the food that we're going to require. Plus this place is absolutely chockers with just things. There we go. That's kind of respectable. Yeah, just because I feel like doing this, let's just... Just get these spaces done here because I do feel like having a path here eventually as well so at least this gives me a little bit of a visual gauge and let's do a couple more bars for the rest of the night just our usual gold ones excellent there we go so we've got a whole bunch of things here now and awesome so we're gonna head to bed for the night did I pat Benjamin today I probably did Okay, awesome. That's going to be it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's quickly head to bed, and is there any... Hmm. Oh, no way. Was that the rumble for the for the train station, or is that the meteorite? I guess we'll have to figure out soon. <laughs> We're going to have to find that out next episode, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Now, that is into the second or the third day. There was an earthquake during the night. Yeah, so that's for the other thing there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that was the first couple of days going into summer. Whew, that was a busy one. We were able... I just dropped my pencil. We were able to get everything that we needed into the ground. We were able to pick up on the fact that I didn't plant any corn. There may still be something missing. I have no idea. I shall have to find that out later. I'm still looking for those summer forageables because I still want to make use of those other 24 spots. For all those summer forageables just to get the foraging skill up a little bit but that's going to be for future episodes guys if you like this video make sure to hit that like button if you're new to the channel and you're liking the series i plan to go all the way to the end of the community center and beyond so consider subscribing if you're enjoying the content but until next time guys cheers peace out